sports betting brother and hey bring it up and thanks for stopping by my name is boyd is boyd and i'm a sports betting market analyst with oddsjam.com we teach you how to bet like a sharp using all the tools all the positive ev pages all the uh, arbitrage pages all the tools and uh, betting data that you get at oddsjam.com and uh, today we're talking about how how to bet the nhl this is sort of a, a fundamentals a basics a tutorial as a starting point for those that want to get involved in betting the nhl and want to understand some of the terms and some of the uh, nuances of nhl and we're going to talk about that uh, and help you get started right away to make money betting hockey let's all right guys let's jump into this tutorial sort of a beginner's tutorial on how to bet the nhl and kind of what the nhl uh, is all about relative to availability and betting and using odds jam as a betting tool to help find value so we're going to keep this real simple start off with mainline bets a mainline bet is something like a money line a spread which in the, in the spread scenario is called a puck line and also the over under the total so let's start off with first just a quick scenario here of the uh, money line and the money line here was pulling up a random random game here we're going to take a look at and you can see here uh predators maple leafs money line the best odds for the Toronto Maple Leafs are at minus 171. So what money line means again is just pick a winner. Don't care what the score is. One nothing, five nothing, ten to two. Don't care the score. Uh, that doesn't matter. That'll come along a little bit later on. But the money line is just pick a winner. Put your money on the line to pick a winner and um, go from there. So you'd have your best odds. And it's minus 171 through the odds jam, perfect line or pinnacle essentially. Uh, but that's probably something that I wouldn't, you know, suggest. And we'll get into, you know, how to use the tools of Odds Jam to identify the winners. But we're just talking about the terminology. And money line again <clears throat> is pick a winner. So this is what it's saying is, why would you, you know, go spend minus 190 when you could pick up that same bet at minus 180? You know, why would you spend 190 dollars when you could spend 180 dollars for the same product or the same asset? Okay, so that's money line. Pick a winner, either side. Your odds on Nashville, the best odds are plus 160. So if you think Nashville is going to win this game, you would, you know, really try to go get your, your, your bet placed at Bet Rivers or at Sportsbook in this situation. Now we're here in Colorado, so we have a lot of sports books to choose from. It gives us a lot of variety, a lot of pricing options. It's awesome. However, you know, again, why would you place a bet at Fox at plus 140 and only make, you know, get paid, get paid $140 when you go get paid $160? Make sense? Usually when I start to talk about money and paychecks, people uh, understand the concept a little bit better than if I just talk about you know, odds and probability. So again, use the best price. Uh, this is an investment. You know, again, if you're gonna take Nashville, go get the better price of plus 160. Um, do not be lazy and just take the plus 140. You're gonna cost yourself a lot of money over the course of time. On to the puck line. Now the puck line is sort of like in baseball, it's called the run line. And also you'll hear this called the spread in hockey. The spread or the puck line means that they have to win by one and a half goals. So in this case, if you take Toronto with the puck line, <clears throat> they have to actually win by two goals or more. If they win by one goal, Nashville would have covered that with a plus one and a half. So it's very important. This, this is where the goals do matter. Up here, goals don't matter. It doesn't really matter the score as long as you win. Puck line or quote unquote spread in hockey, you can actually, um, you know, lose your bet even if your team wins if they don't, you know, win by that two or more. There's alternative lines, alternative puck lines where you can get into other odds, and we'll we'll go into that uh, as well and show you that basically if you think that the uh, Maple Leafs are going to win by three, you know, you could take the puck line plus two and a half. Okay, so here you can see if you want to take Toronto minus two and a half, you're going to pay get paid a lot more money over a FanDuel plus two fifty. Okay, again, if you're planning on taking Toronto, I think they're going to blow them out. You're going to have a four to zero game here, and you want to take minus two and a half. That means I got to win by three goals or more. Why would you go place that at points bet and only get paid two hundred ten dollars when you can go to FanDuel and get paid two hundred fifty dollars? Okay, why would you go? Why would you go to Caesars and, and place that bet there if that's your intention? And when you can make more money, actually about $48 more just because, just because you went that direction. So that's an alternative puck line, meaning it's an alternative spread, just like you would in football or basketball or anything else. So those are the puck lines, otherwise AKA spreads in hockey. Next up, we have totals. Totals are basically over-unders. A total, just like it sounds, is the total score of both teams combined. And if you think that number is going to be over or under what you have, that's how you would place the bet. So let's say, for example, you think this game is going to be four to two. Okay. You think that's going to be a total of six. And if you think that score is going to be six, 
Um, you definitely would want to go under six and a half or under seven, or you can place that bet over five and a half or over five. So if you look at the odds here, the odds jam perfect line is right about uh, over five and a half. You know, certainly over five is really odds really go up to uh, exponentially. Under six, you know, starting to see some under action a little bit here. So the market's right about this area here, that five and a half. And again, if you're going to place a bet on the over or under, just make sure you understand if it's, you know, what mainline bet and number that it's at. So um, if you think, again, this, this if, if, if the total of the over under is set at five and a half and you think the final score is going to be six goals or higher, you play the over. Okay, you get your best line at the over, and, and uh, you know, if you can't bet at the pinnacle, you go get it at minus 105, okay? Um, if you think the bet is going to be under that five and a half, you would you know, go back and get your, uh, you know, positive money, your plus money. You would take this plus 235 at Bet Rivers. That's how you would use the odds jam. Um, info and data to help you find the best price, the best location, based upon what your uh, wager is. So again, guys, mainline bets, you have your totals. It's a, it's a flat bet. Typically, here's your, okay, so let's set it at, set at six. Okay, so you have typically minus 110 odds. So if it's at six, you know, that's the, that's the mainline bet. Your alternative lines are all these down here. It's an al alternative to what the mainline is established at at the over-under of six. Okay, let's move on to player props. Now, player props are exactly what it sounds like. It's a, it's a proposition bet on these items here that you can wager on. So if you want to go player assists, player points, player goals, um, you know, power play points, shots on goal, each one of these is available in an option. So let's just jump into, say, shots on goal. So this basically means that, you know, they don't have to score goals, but they need to get a number of shots on goal in order for you to win this, this player prop type bet. Here we go. So if you, you know, have a particular player in mind, and you wanna compare the pricing. So you can see here bunting over under two, uh, market's about minus, minus uh, 119 at uh, price picks. Of course, the, one, the 137 is price picks and underdog are, are different scenarios as far as daily fantasy, but you can get you can get some good direction on the player prop lines. Um, you can see here, you know, uh, Odds Jam Perfect Line has this about a minus 140. So again, if you put together uh, some wagers over at uh, underdog, this minus 122 or minus 137 has a little bit of value. So this is how you would identify the player prop bets. So uh, Matt Duchesne, you know, <clears throat> under two and a half is a minus 190. Over two and a half is a plus 150. That's how you would read these. So if you think it's going to be over or under, if it lands on, if it happens to have two shots on goal and it lands on two, it's a push. You get your money back. You don't win. You don't lose. You get your money back and everyone goes home. So here's how, you know, again, all the different players, all the different over-unders on the player shots on goal. And of course, you can go into other markets, and these are called alternative markets. So, you know, it's it's uh, not a mainline bet. Let's jump over here to player goals. Get another scenario. If you think you uh, feel adamant that a particular player is going to score a, a goal or more, you can look that up and and put a wager on it. So, these player props are very common in football, basketball, uh, baseball. You name it. Uh, player props are going all around. And here you have it. So player goals, kind of a hard one to predict. I mean, it really is. Uh, you have all the the uh, players here, the odds here. You can see some pretty long shot odds. <laughs> you know, uh, obviously your stars are going to have um, a little bit different odds set up. So if you think uh, you know a particular player is going to score, then this is the place for you is uh, player goals. But again, you see some longer odds. Um, but uh, if you feel like maybe there's a matchup that you, that, uh, you think a particular player is going to be able to exploit and they're going to get a goal, you can certainly go go about it in that fashion. So also using the odds jam perfect line to help you with establishing where they're at in the market and where you're getting a good price or not. Um, obviously, minus 847 is a little higher than minus 750. So again, if you really felt adamant to do this particular wager, that's where you would go at FanDuel to place that under. But again, wouldn't recommend the minus 750. But um, this is, you know, all the options you have in player props, uh, in the markets under player props. You also have periods or market periods. So if you want to bet on just the first period, just the second period, just the third period, you can do that. You have all these different markets and all these different things you can wager on. But today's video is mainly just on the main markets. You know, what is a money line? What is a puck line? And what is a total or an over-under? So hopefully this has been helpful to understand just the fundamentals and the basics.
All right, guys, there you go. There's your NHL betting tutorial for beginners and trying to just getting started on the terminology like money line, puck line, which is also the spread, totals or over-unders, also some alternative totals, alternative spreads, as well as uh, player props and uh, all the details you need to know. Using at Odds Jam, all the uh, positive expected value, the data-driven betting tool at Odds Jam, you get a free seven-day trial. If you want to hit the links below, you get a seven-day trial to use all the tools to make mathematical money. Thanks for stopping by.